bright duty every student matters now we are going to take the question answers based on the second topic of this unit 6 that is buddhist education in india so the question they have asked where is nalanda we have to mention the place of that it is in bihar mainly in patna in indian state and that is patna what is meant by dharmacharya so here we have to define the meaning the dharmacharya refers to doctor of religion then they have asked who acquired the title of dharmacharya from nalanda so we have to mention the name of that person that was huen sang studied at nalanda and acquired the title of dharmacharya that is the doctor of religion from nalanda the next one the short question answers they have asked what were the what was the core of buddha's teaching so here we have to mention the core of buddha's teaching was the three main tenets of buddha's teaching were the first one we can mention that is discipline second one was meditation and the third one was wisdom so these three teachings the core of the buddha's teaching we have to mention here here in long question answers they have asked explain the buddhist system of education in detail so we have to mention that buddhist system of education was open for all there was no such sort of discrimination on the basis of caste and any other system it was well organized in monasteries we can also mention that this buddhist system was democratic one the difference between perceptive the teacher and the pupil that is the student falls in the level of spiritual knowledge and here we have to mention that from the writings or the from the writing of the chinese scholars it gives us the evidences about the knowledge of buddhist system we have to mention about the fahian also who visited india and studied at nalanda near patna and he wrote about the most famous sang also where he mentioned about the structure of nalanda and the different curriculum related to that sanskrit was involved grammar metaphysics philosophy and medicine these were the main subject and then you have to mention that how other chinese scholars have, have also mentioned about the teachings and the arrangement of this nalanda so here you have to give the things in detail how the education was imparted through the monks now this one compare the vedic system and the buddhist system of education we have to take here based on this topic so all the differences you will mention that how they were following the system and and here you will mention the mainly brahmins were used to be the preceptor or the teachers whereas in buddha system no such kind of thing was there beside brahmins others were also comes under that preceptors or the teachers and in vedic system you have to mention all the things that they were following how it was divided into the different groups and here in buddhist system the curriculum also you have to mention the curriculum of the both so these few points you can take here to discuss about both the system here you can compare similarities also you can give as well as you can give the differences here if we talk about similarity you can mention then both the system education was free accommodation was also free whereas if we talk about the differences we can say in the vedic system they asked for the complete detachment from the worldly pleasure but no such kind of things were involved here in buddhist 
system so all these differences could be all these points of comparisons could be mentioned here